Kelsey and I am a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app and I am obsessed with Red Oak Rescue Boxes. I am pretty much only sourcing from online right now. I am not thrifting because of the current situation. So I am relying heavily on Red Oak Rescue Boxes and it's going well so far. Um, the shoe box is my favorite. That's what I've ordered today and I'm gonna be unboxing it. So stay tuned. So this is a 15 pair thread up shoe rescue box. Uh, it was $90. If you like this kind of content, make sure to um, like and subscribe below. And let's see what's inside. I'm hoping for Robbie's boutiques. That's what I want. <laughs> That's what I keep ordering these for. And honestly, if I got them, I would order even more, I bet. Um, let's see. Okay, so this first pair is called Vita CC, which I've never heard of. Um, it's a size 39, so it's a European size. Um, I don't know anything about these, so I'll have to look them up. They look brand new. Uh, well, the, they don't look brand new. Uh, that, the tops look really good. The bottoms look like they have been worn, but just barely. So they're really cute, like coral color. Uh, they're, I said size 39. Um, so I'll have to look into those. I don't know much about them. Uh, these are, what are, where is the other one? Is this? Okay. Cute. Okay. These are Madewell booties and they are size eight. They're leather booties and they need a little bit of love, but they look really good. Like structurally. I'm not, I mean like they need some leather conditioner. But sure, no problem. Um, love those. These are Cole Haan flats. So I think, and they're by Nike Air, so they're the collaboration. Supposedly these do well, but every time I found them in a thrift store and I look up comps, they don't look good, so I never buy them. So um, Cole Haan, I've had a few times in mystery boxes and sold, never for like a ton of money. Um, and they usually take a while. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this one. It's Unisa, U-N-I-S-A. Um, I don't know anything about this one either, so I'll have to look up comps. Um, but the shoes look good. The bottoms are a little bit dirty, but the insides are really good condition. They don't look like they've hardly been worn. And these are a size nine and a half. Um, I see something that I am very excited about. This is a pair of Tory Bur... This is a pair of Tory Birch wedges. Um, condition looks decent. They're a little peep toe. So they've got some scuffs like on the toe and a little bit on the heel, um, a little bit of wear, but the logo is in good condition. Um, they are stamped and they do have the Tory logo on the bottom. So I do think they're authentic. Uh, the size is a size 10. And um, yeah, so those are really great. This is, I think the second maybe the third time I've got, I think this is the second time I've gotten Tory Burch shoes in a thread up box. These are Steven by Steve Madden. Um, these look a little bit older. They look like they've not, I mean, they're okay. I'll list them. Um, what size are they? These are a size eight. They are leather. Um, so they just have the toe strap and the ankle strap. There's a heel, um, not even a very big heel. So, I mean, I'll list them, but they're a little scuffed up. They're not in the best condition and Steve Madden doesn't sell super well for me. I see a pair of boots made in Italy. So that's a good sign. What are you? What are you? Sudini. The insides are a little bit peely. Um, and I don't know anything about the brand. They're size nine and a half. So I'll have to look it up. The outside is in really good condition. It's just the inside is a little bit, eh. but I, th I think if it's a good brand, it should still do well. They're nice. Um, I like that they were packed with the paper because they're not folded at all. They have the like cardboard inside of them. So that's really nice, but I don't know much about them. They're kind of like a chocolate leather, but they look pretty good on the outside. Uh, okay. 
so these are some a new day target sneaker sneakers so um you know not thrilled they could use a little bit of a wash i think but i'll, I'll probably list them um they'll probably they might sell for like ten dollars and i'm lucky and these are forever 21 wedges so they're cute they do look a little bit worn or not worn just like maybe they sat too long in the heat or something uh because the bottoms still have the stickers on them so the bottoms are barely worn they're a u.s size eight i might try these i'm seven and a half so they might work for me because they're pretty cute one time i kept a pair of <laughs> a pair of wedges that i got in a thread up box and i wore them on new year's eve and then the straps came off the shoes <laughs> and just totally separated they were like an unbranded uh, wedge and I really regretted wearing them but they were so cute but yeah so I, I wish there was a way to test all the shoes because you just never know uh, how the condition is until you wear them these are really cute they were set Sam Edelman um, heels with like a little bit of a platform they're gray suede they still have a Nordstrom rack tag it says the retail price is 99 and the Nordstrom Rack price was 59 and then they were on 65% on sale. So somebody got a really good deal on them, but they don't look really worn at all. So I, I probably will take off, at least I'll take off the red sticker um, and then maybe even the whole sticker. But here are the shoes. They have a weird little peep toe, like a like a half peep. These are really cute. What are they? Oh, these are BP, um, which I believe stands for Brass Plum from Nordstrom Rack, and they're they're very small. Um, there are six. They have a little bit of a the heel is pulled off here. But otherwise they're in good condition um just the heels have had a little bit of wear but they're a really cute little zip up ankle booty these are so cool oh my gosh okay these are vintage um j renee is the brand which i don't really know anything about but these remind me of those really heavily beaded dresses they're so cool these are really cool um heels they do have that's they have damage they're missing the little heel cap so that needs to be replaced. I, I'll probably try to sell them just as is. Um, it looks like they're size six, so they're really small, but they're very cool. Uh, they have a really cool detail on there. Very 80s. Uh, these and then I have another pair of Cole Haan shoes. These are heels, little sling back, heels with a peep toe. Um, so again, oh, and they're also Nike Air. These are a size eight. So I'm not thrilled, but I'm not upset about it. Uh, there is another pair of boots. These are really cool. What are they? Oh, so these are by Fergie. These are Fergalicious. Um, it's all man-made. It's not real leather, but they're really cute. I like this like over boot thing. <laughs> Um, did I say what size these are? These are size eight. So these are pretty cute. Um, and then last but not least, there is another pair of Tory Burch wedges. Um, I don't see the logo on the bottom, but the bottoms of these are pretty worn. These are size seven. They are stamped in, which is a good sign. They have a little Tory Burch logo at the toe um, and they're like a rattan almost. And yeah, those are really exciting and very cool. I am so excited. I have two pairs of Tory Burch shoes. Um, Tory Burch regular, anything other than shoes doesn't, shoes and purses I think sell really well for me, but otherwise Tory Burch is really hard to move. The dresses and uh, clothing, does not move quickly for me, but um, shoes moves very quickly. And these especially are in pretty good condition. Um, the other ones are also in decent condition. So I am so excited about the Tory Burches. I think those will definitely make my money back. Um, and I'll have to look into a couple of the other styles 
The only thing I think that is kind of like maybe not great are the uh, A New Day Target shoes and then maybe the Forever 21 wedges, but mostly I think this is a pretty good box. I'm excited. I think it's definitely worth the $90. I'm excited to get new inventory. Um, next, I don't know when it's going to get delivered, but I've managed to catch um, the DIY designer box again. And since I had three really good boxes, I ordered four more. So I'll probably break that into two videos. So be on the lookout for those. And um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.